جت سام القياده العامه سقطت ما سقطت صافينا الليله يوم 25 مايو اللي هو موافق 20 رمضان ومواصله للالتزام بتاع اساسه اللغه الانجليزيه بين هذه المخاطبه يعني يشرفنا انه يجينا البطل العايد الاستاذ وليد ومبارك كان معتذر فشكرا جزيلا له آه شكرا دكتور انور السلام آه عليكم Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Over here, and the people are watching us uh, in the group. And sorry for uh, my absence yesterday. Somehow was exhausted. But anyhow, I've come today for you, for all of you. Um, our great condolences for the people who lost their life to help and to save this country. Um, those great martyrs and may Allah they have mercy upon their souls and make their families safe. Thank you, all of you. Um, I think uh, yesterday I was supposed to speak about a uh, peace, but I think the people uh, have done a great job and they've talked about peace. And the peace is the absence of fear. I hope all of you peaceful, inshallah. Uh, today we're going to talk about a strike action or political action. So you, you know that the, the announcement of the strike, okay, there will be a strike on Tuesday and Wednesday. So you should be know, you should be knowing what the strike and how will it be, okay? And, and even the difference between the strike and the civilian or the civil disobedience so those aspects of today so we're gonna talk about the strike action or political action so what is the strike we have it by showing you what is the strike you hear about the strike right so what is the strike hitting other people Strike, political strike. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, come over here. Please give Mr. Ahmed a harsh clap. Good evening. Um, strike means, I think, uh, stop doing your job or perform your duties. For example, I'm a teacher. I, don't, I have to go on my work, but I should not raise my finger to teach any person. So, stopping of work. So that means you're gonna stay at home or you go uh, for your work, then you don't work there. You go to the place that you work for. According to my... I think, I think we should go to work and shouldn't do anything. But I can't believe these things can be happening. Everyone has to sleep in his home because if they... If I, if I, I want to do something, process, for example, I went to any office, I found someone who's just staying without doing any work, may cause some problem with the employees, especially as, as a Sudanese, you know, maybe, maybe some aggressive things is happening, you know, but I prefer people to sleep in home, but when someone is coming, finding no one, we can't do anything, but this one can attack, can get some employee to, to be attacked by citizens for example employees in the banks for suppose if I want to do for certain amount of bank or getting any transactions if I found someone who's not doing this just look at me like this it will be somehow uh, it's kind of uh, attracting him to, 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 to fight with him. it's kind of okay uh, I respect your point of view but what about having discussion over there having just chatting over there speaking okay chatting having breakfast okay having your, uh, your food there so that would be good for you you're gonna know each other perfectly right for sure it's good for me but for the people who are coming to get the service it may not be for them because we expect that not all Sudanese are right now are uh, administrators you know we have enemies so those people they take the chance to to start fighting with us, you know, so they may send some kind of people to us so that they can attack us to prove for people that those people that don't want to work, and we all know that the attack which is.
is happening right now in the hospitals. You know, the previous the previous months we used to have a lot of complaints on cases. People they came to hospital, they found, for example, that the doctors they don't take their work seriously. Then they attack them. So these things may may occur in the next uh, strike. We may expect it. So I prefer for the people to stay at home, not to go to work. For me personally, I do like that. But because it's so painful, you know, when you go to find an employee staying in his home, his, uh, in his office, eating food, talking, having some fun, and you have something to do it. If I'm against these things, I will not be quiet. You know? I will raise my voice. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, uh, what is the, I mean, the, the benefit of uh, going uh, the place that you work in, okay? Because they said that it is important for you to go there, but do not work. So what is the benefit? Here Mr. Ahmed said that he prefers uh, to stay at home, not going for work. So what do you think? Which one is better? To stay at home or to go for work, but without working there? Which one is better for you? Which one do you prefer? Which one is better? Staying or going there without working? Welcome, give him a hash clap, please. So I would like to share you this topic, uh, which is about political strike, right? Right, yeah. So, uh, first of all, we have to define what does it mean. So, political strike is the one of the peaceful ways against dictatorial government. So there are many peaceful ways which are being used right now by protesters and most of them succeeded because of what? Because of this peaceful way or those peaceful ways. So uh, why do we need to apply this way in this time in particular? So if you ask yourself this question, this is the best time in order to be applied. Why? Because right now we are facing dictatorial government, which, what do we call it? Uh, military council. Okay. So we have rights. In order to take those rights, we have to be united and we have to deliver our voice and we have to deliver our message not only for military council but the entire world. Okay? So uh, this way it should be used in this time in particular. So some people prefer to stay at home and others prefer to go to work. But for me personally, my opinion is better to go to work. Why? Because every one of us has responsibility. So when I come here, I have responsibility whether to help others in preparing food, whether to spirit awareness among all protesters. So everyone has responsibility. And all responsibilities are important. Why? Because they serve the main issue that we are facing right now. Okay? So for me, and at that time, personally, I will go to work and I will prevent myself from working there. So why do I need to do so? Because we have rights, should be taken soon, okay? And even my co-workers, some of them right now, they, 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 they are ignorant. They do not know why are all Sudanese people right now protesting, why, what do they need? So when I go there, the very thing that I will start doing is spirit awareness among them. And I will tell them personally, why do we need to stop working in these days? Okay? So, this one do I prefer to do. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Kedura. So, he said that he prefers to go there in order to spread awareness. So, you're going to tell people why we need uh, to apply the strike. Okay? Here, maybe some of them are not convinced that this is something important. But when you tell them 
this is something important for you, for the country, maybe they're gonna change their minds. So, I think this is a very important point. When you go there, you should spread the awareness of uh, why is it important for you to go for work. Now, are you coming, Mr. Ahmed? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, chances are still here. Welcome, Mr. Anas, right? Please give him a hash club. For the next uh, second question, uh, do you prefer to see after the game of tomorrow? I say. Firstly, before, be, before, before answering this question, so do you believe in the, uh, that the, the strike is a beneficial way to get your rights back? I think it's beneficial. To get our right back, that's important in the next coming period of time. This is the answer to my question. In the next uh, question, I prefer to stay at home and to save our energy for the employers. I prefer to stay at home and save uh, the energy for the next civilian government. We need the energy to work at the next government. This is what I'm Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Anis. So, yeah, yeah, welcome. A lady, we are lucky today by having a lady. Give her a hash clap, please. Welcome. Okay, thank you so much for giving me the chance. Really, it is a very nice opportunity for all people here to share and telling what do they have exactly. Uh, really, we have been silent for a long time. We are going to work, we're coming back from work. We find nothing from that thing. As Sudan, African country, you know how people are suffering and how the level of the life is became miserable for all people. So if now we want to show what do I have, my ideas, and how can I solve my problems through the political streak? I think this is one of the things that it can show, not here, because our political uh, uh, people, they know more about these things and they are not going to listen. But I'm showing outside Sudan, not here. I'm showing the outside world and how Sudanese people, they are uh, just showing uh, the way that they're taking their rights to pretend that the, 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 the level of problems that they have. So really this is one of the things that if I want to work, I'm not going to work at all. Uh, I will put my pain. If I'm working on the computer, I'm not going to open it even. The only words that I'm going to try it today, I'm not going to work. So this is one of the things that to find me, I respect the rule of work to go there, but to do something there, no. This is, this is my way of shying. My brother there, he said, we have many uh, responsibilities. That's why we have to work. What, which kind of responsibilities that you're talking about? Which are they? Really, you, you say something and you are suffering. You are suffering. This is chance. Now, this is a chance for you to tell the people how you are suffering. How the things that you are not living as a human being. You are not like the other people that they live. If you want tears, or the Arabia, or any country, we're taking Rwanda as example, really, in Africa. Thus, you know, they're having a very uh, big level in life. They were in a different world, again, it's many things. But now, if we look at them, Ethiopia, Eritrea, many, many countries, now they were, and they know more about that. And then you tell me that to go work and get this is a very miserable story. We are not going to be silent for anything. So we're showing and we pretend and we tell the uh, general people that what do we have exactly. And inshallah, soon they're going to be so Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow, wow. How brave lady she is. Okay, I understand Mr. Gadura, and he's gonna uh, reveal his opinion. Just say, lady. Uh, you should be here. He needs to clarify something for you. Sigidura, okay? Maybe you misheard him. 
Thank you for giving me second opportunity. So when I say that everyone has responsibility, uh, I didn't mean that we have responsibilities toward work. I meant we have responsibility toward spreading awareness among our co-workers. This is what I meant. And I gave an example that every one of us uh, who is sitting right now here, he has his own responsibility. If we did not come here and share those responsibilities, we would not be in this current situation. Am I right? So when I say it so, there is misunderstanding. When I say it so, I didn't mean responsibilities toward war. So for example, as community, as Sudanese people, we have something that we are suffering about right now, which is ignorance. Okay? So we have ignorant people in our society. Those people, we do not need to nourish them. We do not need to feed them. We need to feed them by information. We need to tell them what is right and what is wrong. Okay? By right way. So this is it. Uh, right now, and I, I think that the, the, the best way to build our country is through spreading awareness among our people in this country. So, if we have an idea of how to build our country, it's better than sharing others to build our country without having an idea. This is it. So, the thing that we have to start doing right now, all of us as Sudanese people, is to teach each other. So, uh, I'm in Guinea, but I have no idea about medical side. I don't have an idea about agricultural side. So, if we share each other, if any person has information and shares with others, by this way we will have knowledge and we will have the best weapon that can be used ever, not to do destroy our country but to rebuild our country again so what this is what i mean so if i stay at home i will change nothing so it is better at that time to go to war and to start speaking with my co-workers because some of them we are not in the same level of knowledge so some of us they know others don't so when i go there i have responsibility so my responsibility is to sit with them because in the world there are many departments okay i go to them one by one and i will start talking to them what are what the benefits of political strike what are we going to gain by preventing ourselves from war so by this way i will gain two things very thing is delivering my message clearly to them another thing convincing them to do the same this is it. So, and this is what we are doing right now. So here we are discussing, and some of us, including myself, I get many information from others. So you gave me information that I didn't know before. But right now I will put and I will add this information to my knowledge. Then next time I can share it with others. So this is the benefit of discussing, this is the benefit of sharing information between each other. So I have at work, I have my co-workers, they are ignorant. So when I go there, I will convince them. Probably some of them belong to previous region. Okay? And I have, I have some of them. But one of the tools of persuasion is to convince and don't give up. Don't give up persuading and convincing them. You have to remind them every second that we have right, okay? So this is our mentality as Sudanese people that we will not be convinced from the first time. We need someone to remind us. We need someone to just give us pieces of advice. By this way, probably I will not be convinced right now, but by tomorrow I will be convinced. So this is our mentality and this is what I meant by having responsibilities and how we share those responsibilities between each other. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think it's clear. You have a response? Okay, now I guess uh, I got what you mean by saying that I have to go uh, work but uh, I have to tell the people. But I will tell you something. 
uh, the time of being a teacher telling the people it's finished by the way yani, yes making awareness everywhere to tell people uh, please stay at work for example uh, today is a political street keeping telling them but now if you are looking at the faces of people now they don't want a very long speech they want to take action i'm talking about the action yani, when i go there i have to stop yani, anyone come and look at me as my dream i'm not working i put my pain I, i i did many actions that to show that really i'm the one that I'm the person that it is clear from my face from my actions that i'm not going to work today just now sudanese people they don't want and they did not need someone to tell them uh, today is a political streak today people that are not going to work no one is going to listen to you by the way because this is the time of the actions all the protesters here in this is uh, place they, they just need the actions now they are waiting for uh, the, the, the the military uh, council to to tell what's the end of these things if they did not find it exactly they are going to make their own actions T- telling the people by a very high word telling that and they keeping staying here this is one of the actions uh, really i got your idea first time really i did not get it but now i got it but it needs not to be like just telling them no no actions go work like the uh, I, i can say that the the the, the, the sudanese uh, bank i mean this is one of the things that people are staying outside for sure from the faces of the people that are going to read those people that are not going to work this is the way this if sudanese people in any instruction that's going to do the same in the streets like the first time the 6th of april people doing what the action all the people outside really this is one of the succeed of this is potential thank you so much thank you before you go before you go i've got some question for you so you work you work ah uh, yes okay so which one do you prefer to go what book to stay at home which one okay staying at home by the way is no one is going to sing me no one is going to see that is as a person that uh, i want to be outside and taking a paper and tell the people or just from this action to show people that i'm with the people who are going to be uh, among the people of the political street yeah okay you believe in swag right but what about uh, the people that they don't believe in swag what are you going to do for them Okay through my actions through my actions so the protesters they are making very nice words here i'm going to continue t- saying them sing them dance them do many things of this action so the other now if you look at the kids kids by the way they are better than the old people really they are doing great job i do appreciate them for us just is them talking a lot making his stories the time of his stories and his speech is finished we have to understand that now people some of them drinking tea yes it is a part of that but we have to make our eyes very big and talk strongly to afraid those people who are living here okay i like the enthusiasm that you that you speak with but but some people do not i mean even are not convinced that this is the, something important to them yeah actions can convince them even talking to them can convince them right so here we have many ways some people uh, they are convinced uh, by actions but others can be convinced by words right so that's it both of them you are on the same path you want your people to be um, aware right so this is getura just say in a minute come come over here not the not to be debate uh sorry sorry people i just took chances which belong to others but the thing that i want to clarify is you are totally right that always action speaks louder than word we know that but the thing that i want to clarify for all of you is that there are many peaceful ways which are being used in our revolution starting from the ferries till the last one but we have to differentiate between two concepts first one is political strike the second one is 
disobedience. Civil disobedience. So, civil disobedience means staying at home without going to work in order not to benefit the dictatorial government. Okay, this is it. We have to differentiate between them. What do we mean by political uh, strike is to go to war because you as employee, you have a method that should be delivered perfectly to everyone who works with you, I mean your co-workers. This is it. So we have to know those concepts in order to use them correctly. Okay? Because if we misuse them, we are not going to benefit from this peaceful way. So first of all, we will use this way. This Okay, I told you those are steps. We will start from this one, which is political strength. The next one is going to be civil disobedience. Okay, this is what do you mean is civil, civil, uh, civil disobedience. It is going to be used, but in next step, not in this one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you uh, so much. I have something to say for you. Okay, here you, you've come over here. Uh, did you do something? You spoke, right? You spoke. You spread up your awareness. This is the same thing that he's gonna do in his work. He's going to talk with other people. Here you come and you spoke. He's gonna speak with them. The same idea, right? So here we come here to speak to other people, to spread the awareness. Here we speak. You spoke. You spread your awareness. So that's it. When you speak with other people, you're gonna spread your awareness, right? So that's it. Uh, sorry for making it uh, as a debate, but it was so hot. So that's why I got the chance. Today we're speaking about the strike action or political action, uh, political strike. So what's your opinion? Is it beneficial for you? Yeah, welcome. What's your name for me? What's your name? Please give Mr. Muhammad Suleiman a hash clap. Uh, okay. You, you don't forget your lesson. You usually try to teach us lessons in how to speak publicly. Okay. Uh, I think it is also important to, to talk about we talk about uh, political strike, we're talking about the tool of resistance. And we need, we need to, to put this tool of resistance in the context of the different tools of resistance invented by, by protesters throughout the protest. When we talk about these tools, these tools were many, and you all know that we are peaceful protesters, armless, and we are only armed with our with our uh, resistance to this regime and uh, so we are talking about two unequal powers and uh, two different powers and uh, contradictory powers in opposition and so on so at this case we as protesters we 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 work to invent different tools of resistance, and uh, awareness is not is not just a tool of resistance, but awareness is the most important factor that that elucidates all the efforts and uh, take people from one block to another. Through people awareness, we as we people started to spread awareness, and awareness is important at every level. You cannot forget it at every level. I will remind you with, with uh, the, 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 the first day of real uh, protest on the, on the 19th of December, the government uh, hurriedly moved to block internet connectivity from, from the country, not inter internet connectivity as uh, as as uh, overall overall idea, but regarding Facebook, regarding WhatsApp, regarding social media, to be specific. Although the president usually talk in media, the ex-president talks in media that 
we cannot be told through social media. But actually on the ground, they, 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 they block internet connectivity or social media connectivity. And uh, at this moment, protesters needed to invent an alternative means of, of resisting. So VPN was from these means and having another proxy to connect to the internet and so on is another mean and this one way showing that the state so sovereignty is lo no longer the old notion that the state have the power to stop your resistance okay what are and, the benefits of that's why I'm, I'm going to tell you but let me put put the ideas in in their context i cannot talk about the the, 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 my idea about the political strike without understanding the strike as a tool of resistance. So these are different tools for resistance. At one time when the people started moving at the street, the people used photographs, they started photographing uh, uh, security forces, spread their, their photographs on media, and these were also means of cyber resistance. We use the, we use the cyber space to construct our resistance to this regime. And in this way, as we invent the most important logo of the of the revolution, Tasgut Bas, the anti the anti uh, protest or the or the or the, the, the contrary revolution started to invent its logos, Takut Bas for example. It came it came from our position. We started to control the the street and the people started to invent new new means of resistance. So this uh, the use of the cyberspace was also means of resistance. Also when people when the people move in the street and uh, declare campaigns of cleaning the streets. These were also means not only of political resistance but also of social resistance. And when we move to, to the sit-in, the sit-in itself was a mean of resistance. And when you come to the choice of the 6th of April, the 6th of April was to commemorate the, the armies. Okay. And uh, moving to, jumping to the last point. Jumping to the last point you are talking about. Uh, political strike. How political strike, uh, as I see political strike, political strike is also a mean of resistance. And why now we choose political strike? It is now political strike is a card and we have to throw this card at the right time at the right and at the right place. And uh, when you when you know how, how when you if you want to understand how this political strike is a real cost for the transitional military council, you when when you see that the military council is 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 jumping from one institution institution to another trying to convince that the people and bribe them giving them three months salaries this as bribes but but all, almost all these institutions reject and understand because of their awareness understand these are bribes from the from this uh, transition transitional military council and reject it and you see that at the same time after the visits of MAT to the different places, different groups go out to the media and uh, send their voice, tell that we are going to strike. Political strike is one maybe of our last cards because now we are we are we are unfortunately with a battle in a in a battle with the political with the transitional military council because the way the transitional military council negotiate and use different of delaying of uh, resources. The transitional military council was was believing that we cannot we we can we can leave the sit in before Ramadan and was trying to draw us to Ramadan. But even 
in Ramadan we con we send our message that we are we are we are concreting it. We sabina. We are at the seat in. And the, and, the, and 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 the transitional military council try to invent new means of delaying time and so on. And uh, now our weapon is political strike. And when we strike, we do not we do not strike uh, from an individual initiative. We know the engineer of of uh, this protest. Uh, the, 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 the association of the SPA, the SPA. SPA uh, have sent a certain message and uh, make a certain uh, schedule and certain timeline and we have to follow this. The political strike is different from civil disobedience and the people have to understand this. When you do political strike, you go to work, you uh, try to make to raise the people awareness working with you, those different peoples, maybe your co-workers in the institution, understand what political strike. But there is junior workers who do not understand these issues. For example, people selling tea, people working as cleaners, as different, they do not understand these things. And you need to tell them in simple and to send them what's meant by political this uh, political strike. And we have to abide to the schedules of the SPA because uh, this is the engineer of strike. And uh, okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, well, once again, we are speaking about the strike and how is it beneficial for you. Okay, and which one is better, staying at home or going for work? Yeah, Mr. Hashim over here. Welcome. Good evening from all. Hashim Nagy. Uh, uh, I thank this uh, young people for the situation. And also I thank the uh, Sudanese for the recommendation of the stage. Uh, the strike political uh, errors happen in the political situation. Uh, to pleasure other side. To give uh, the review you your benefit and order of the list uh, wins the negotiation. Now in the Sudan, uh, we we have in this uh, 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 location. Uh, also, uh, in the history, in the look like the the civilian movement in America. If the black people uh, boy, boy, call it the, the right buses, uh, in early in er time, they strike political or or any uh, st an, any strike they happen happen or uh, to uh, happen successful. Look like in the French, uh, the yellow shirt, uh, yellow shirt groups, uh, yellow shirt groups. Also in the Palestinian, uh, uh, in the press. They uh, boycott the uh, eat and uh, drink water to pressure against the Israeli uh, movement. So in the Sudan, uh, we 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 facing uh, uh, same same uh, situation. Uh, so when the when is the on the Tuesday we can uh, do uh, strike uh, political against the uh, military uh, council to give us uh, civilian uh, governor uh, governor uh, governor. Because he's, uh, he's, uh, because he's, uh, he's uh, harmful or he's uh, not, uh, uh, not on to, to give us uh, civilian government. Uh, government. Uh, this is my idea. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Hashim. Thank you. So, yeah, the, the door is still open. Yeah, come over here. The strike. Is it beneficial for you? How can it serve the country? That's why this right action. So thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. I come to Paris. I am here. My name is Paris to open an English discussion. So I think that political strike it is so right. I mean that this is the second we're going to be doing about 
this motion unless government is passed. This is I mean that it is benefit for us and benefit for the so it is always protection it is playing by the game. So we are, in order to send your message for all the world, we're gonna send your people to show you who are you, we're gonna plot for the enemy to the country. So this I mean that this may be 95%. It is going to benefit for us. Now we are from now to believe politician instruction from now. So from yesterday until to now we are going to believe this is really it is plan we are going to benefit for all the Sudanese citizen. It is make revolution sitting among of general scarf. So I appreciate for all the teachers plus those is proud of the responsibility of the constitution of the country, plus the headmasters for giving for us new ideas about this country, how to we are built, or how to we are going to have rise to the country. So I really thought this is maybe it is 95%, really it is plan we are going to believe. Because I mean that it is a military government until to now it is playing it is downside it is very dirty the game now it's looking for us just yes, saying that those niggas don't know about politician about what everything so we are again at this negotiation about this thing it is murmuring down it's talking about it thing is it is saying that it is talking down down inside there inside this constitution but we are talking also it is got much more we have enough capacity to do your belief, what are we are doing now? Action. So it's really action we are going to do. It. Action it is belief. 95% it is what we're gonna do to succeed. I hope that everyone to put in your idea in our heart to gonna we are succeed, succeed. Government is supply, supply. I thank so much. Those brothers to appreciate for me. I will check you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm gonna take the chance to welcome uh, Mr. James. Mr. James, just call him. Welcome. Please give him a hash club. I don't know what he called me now. Hi, buddy. Yeah, we're talking about the political strike. How could we apply the political strike, and what is the benefit of that strike? Uh, I'm not a specialist in this field, actually. My knowledge to political strike is too little. Oh, if I could contribute uh, too much in this revolution, I could say possibly, and potentially could change the balance which we have in us, uh, the opposition, uh, which is opposing the transition political system, council. And however, we should impose our power, we should tell them and confirm that we can change the system. And they are like likely to be eradicated if they continue to pursue the same manner of the previous dictatorship and previous regime. And we are the people. We have the power. We can change everything we want to. But we need to be united only. We need to stand like one person and we need to tackle our all issues alone without any foreign intervention likely what's happening from Saudi Arabia, Emirates and Egypt and whatsoever. And we need to stop all those like, you know, uh, illogical decisions and Ill like, Ill illogical delegations which are sent by the TMC, Transitional Military Council, uh, so we can have our own civil government as soon as possible. Uh, we need to agree, all of us, a position, people, under one umbrella, which is Sudan. We need to unite our country, we need to have a meaningful goal, we need to have a prosperous future, we need to stand together. Otherwise, we are like must to be like you know eliminated or our revolution will be stolen. And now they're working on the process of what having counter attack to take our revolution from us. But we we will never allow them to steal our revolution. We will continue to pursue. We will continue to resist the system and the old regime and the deep state itself. Because now there's a deep state is working. Because this state has been like, you know, for 30 years, it's not possible to be removed in five months. People are in hurry to finish this as soon as possible. But we don't need to hurry. 
the more we stay, the more fruitful the revolution will be. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's what I think about. Surely. Okay, um, if it didn't work, if the DMC did not uh, transmit the government for the civilian, so what would you do? Uh, if we put ifs and buts, we won't work. We need to be very, like, you know, aware enough that we are capable of doing this. We need to believe in our revolution. We need to believe in our, like, youth and our Kandakat, the queens of the revolution. And we need to work together to push them out. It's not issue of guns. We don't care about how many guns or how, how many, like, you know, like, milit uh, you know, militia men they have, whatever so. But we are the people. We remember that in 6 April, people when they came here, they were like almost 6 million. 6 million. And if you count all the militia men, they're not even 1 million. Which means we can make it. We need to believe that we can make it. Peacefully, peacefully, we make it. So we don't, I don't put any ifs. Like when I was in jail, when they told me that you're out, you're released, I thought like it's done already. I thought like we are done. And our country has been regained and we are going to build our new country, a new state which is democratic and which is free and just for everybody. But things did not work out, but now, thankfully, things work out. And now we believe that we can remove the TMC, we can remove whatever, so we can remove any regime, any system which is opposing our nation. If only in one case, if only we unite and we forget our, like, you know, our disagreements, which are, like, you know, blocking the transition or the progress which we are making in this uh, period of time. Which means all the opposition, you know, like political parties and the movement, um, our movements, all of them, they have to stay together, agree together, forgetting the vengeance and revenge which are taking between them and unite together for one purpose which is to unite this country. And we need to progress, we need to go ahead. Okay, you are refusing my Fs, but you are bringing your Fs, okay? Uh, anyhow, I mean, I, I meant that, uh, do we have another weapon? If this did not work, do we have another weapon? I'm not refusing your ifs, but your ifs are negative. But I'm looking at my ifs as positive stand point of view. Therefore, yeah, I'm coming to your question. Do we have another alternative, another, you know, like, you know, factor to help to change the revolution massively? Yeah, we do have. We do have, we do have, we do have general strike. We do have civil disobedience, which is going to work massively. What happened in India by Mahatma Gandhi, peacefully, and what happened in America by civil rights, activ uh, civil rights activists, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. We have many options to work, but we don't want to make it, you know, violent. We make it peacefully. With all respect due to everybody, we make it peacefully. We are going to reach our goal and our dream, and we are going to make our country glorious, and we are going to be gratified soon or later. And we are going to inspire many nations. We are going to inspire Africa, Asia, as we did inspire Venezuela, and we did inspire even the Spanish. They did set in like ours. They were Sabina in Barcelona. Yeah. 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 We just uh, follow the media. Yeah. So we are, we are going to make it till we are going to get what we need. What we, we want is what? Awareness. We need people to be aware. Of. We need consciousness. We need to be people to be conscious, aware to what we are doing, to what we are working forward. And we don't need to take it like childish game. It is very serious. It is a future of many generations which are going to come. So we need to work on this. Thank you so much. That's what I was looking for. The last weapon, which is civil disobedience. Thank you so much, Mr. James. Thank you so much. Uh, please welcome with me with uh, Dr. Ahmed. Yes, okay. So the last chance uh, to talk about the the strike. Mr. Ahmed, yeah, welcome. Once again, welcome. Yeah, thanks for giving me this second opportunity. Uh, the previous speakers they have said that uh, uh, we have one chance only. The last card is just uh, civil disobedience. Uh, I do agree in uh, roadblocks and we are very expert in that. I think that's very strong people. We have done it here and uh, after that we have done the two things that which is going to be happen uh, the next week. Uh, they're going to do uh, civil disobedience and uh, the strike. But after the road, uh, roadblock, we have done everything. Roadblock means no work, no anything. 
so uh, the youth we believe in, we believe in that. Uh, the 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 other forces they believe that civil disobedience and such kind of things. But for us, I think they have announced many strikes for this strike before our our strike here. But I think it's success. What happens for the previous government? Nothing. I think on uh, on Mars there is many. They have announced many days that for a strike for civil disobedience, right? But nothing gets success because most of the employers they don't have principle and they were just following what's going on from the boss and most of the bosses they just belong to the previous governments. That's why we don't trust such a kind of things. This is the old vision of strike. We have our new things, we call it that is and it's very workable. And we are going to use it. This is very big work for us. You can see these guys with the with the jackets and very strong guys. They can uh, we can do it. Our strike bring us to here. Not civil disobedience and those kind of strategies. For me and for the Zeus, we believe the streets is a very peaceful place for us to get our rights for the civil disobedience because most of us we have no job. You know? So we are here. Thank you so much. But that is uh, the practical way of the strike making barricades so this is the practical way of strike so the last chance before we sum up the last chance before we sum up yeah you've heard us speaking about strike right yeah strike the political one I'm, I'm sorry because I'm too late but I, I just trying to summarize the point strike is I don't think so it's a main um, weapons to stop those dictators even they don't know the meaning of this tribe and that's why we have to change our mechanisms change not main road what my friend mentioned is it's, it's going to be of course one of our cup of tea and they no longer going to digest this because they knew that uh, they are no longer going to have a job and of course they will surrender and I wish to continue, even this statement which is written, please, we should change. To write should be stepped down again and again, and it's going to take place. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I think uh, our time is over, but before we sum up, so they said that it is important to go for work, but do not work there. Why? Because you're gonna spread your awareness there. You're gonna convince many people that are, are not convinced. This is a peaceful way and we're gonna take our rights back. And that's it. But if that didn't work, we're gonna have the civil disobedience and that will work. I believe in that. I believe in that, okay? Uh, as Abraham once said, the thing that we always say over here, Abraham Lincoln once said that the world will need to know and no long remember what we say here. But it can never forget what we did here. That these days shall not have died in vain. That this nation shall have a new birth of freedom. And the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth tomorrow at the same time. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.